All right, how we doing today? How's everybody doing? Got one guy who is fine, and everybody else is just kind of, eh? We good? Everybody good? We good over here? We good? We good? A toasty day. I want to say hello to everybody watching on Bassmaster.com. We are here, Championship Saturday, here at the Red River. And beautiful. It's been a little warm, and these anglers who made it to the top ten, they definitely earned it. So uh, good job to you guys. You persevered to the to the bitter end, but we're still, again, happy to be here. It's a beautiful place. We love the food. We love the family. We love the folks, and uh, it's been an awesome time here in Shreveport, Bossier City. Let's start out with our title sponsor, St. Croix Rods. we got Bassmaster Elite Series angler Derek Hudnall over there. You guys want to go say hi, talk fishing with him, talk St. Croix Rods, go say hello to him. Our presenting sponsor, Mossy Oak Fishing. We thank them for all of their commitment here. Our platinum vehicle sponsor, Toyota. We've got a brand new 2022 Platinum Series Tundra right there on display. If you guys want to peek inside it, take a look at the 14 inch display. Again, just an awesome vehicle, and uh, they get us all over the country. Progressive Insurance, they titled our Bassmaster Elite Series Angler of the Year this year, and they jumped on as a platinum sponsor. We appreciate their commitment. Then on our premier level, Bass Pro Shops, Yamaha. Berkeley, Skeeter, Humminbird, Rapala, Mercury, Ranger, Minn Kota, Powerpole, and Nitro. A lot of those teams, those sponsors committed uh, uh, service teams to, uh, to this tournament and to all of, the, uh, all of the Opens and Elite Series this year. We appreciate them. They keep all of our anglers out on the water running. They do a fantastic job. They work hard. Our supporting level sponsors, AFCO, Daiwa, Garmin, Hook, Marathon, Strike King, Triton, and VMC. Big shout out to VMC, our way bag group. They do a fantastic job. We got to re tear that, don't we? Yeah, we will. And we appreciate them and all their hard work. But then I want to thank all of our local sponsors, our local partners. It starts with the Shreveport Bozier Sports Commission, Sarah Elms and their group. They've done a fantastic job connecting all the dots. Red River South Marina hosts a, two Bassmaster Classics, a few opens, and this open here. A great place to host it. A little bit of a challenge at the beginning with day one takeoff, but we rallied together, and uh, we'll recognize Charles here in a minute with their hard work. But again, the folks here at Red River South, we appreciate them letting us take over this whole area for these last three days. I mentioned him a second ago, Charles with LSU Shreveport, my main man over here. He's been working hard on stage all week. But what you don't know is he's been working hard off the stage all week too, getting volunteers, getting all the traffic flow, getting light towers scheduled and ready, getting... Uh, all our camera boats, you know, all of that. We've put Charles to work this week, not to mention the hardest working person on stage weighing all these fish. Over there, if you're watching on Bassmaster.com, you can just hit him up on, I'm sure you can find him online pretty easily, LSU Shreveport Fishing, and uh, he'd be happy to talk to you also. So again, Charles, thank you guys for your hard work. I want to give Jeremy a huge shout out too. I don't know if he's here today, but uh, they rallied on day two to get the parking all taken care of with uh, put in, and uh, it was a smooth, well-oiled machine, and we appreciate you guys for doing that. So if you guys could help me thank all of those fine folks for all the hard work they do for this Open, please give them a round of applause. The last group I want to single out and the group that makes this all flow smoothly, I just stand up here and talk on the mic, is the Bass staff. They've been out here in this brutal heat all week, and uh, they're going to get ready to head to another tournament here in about a week and a half. So uh, let's give the Bass staff a big round of applause, if you guys can, for all their hard work. All right, let's go over where we are. We started out with 202 pros. We whittled it down to the top 10. That's who we have out here now. We're not going to bring them up yet, but we will be bringing them up in order. From 10 to 1, getting into 10th place, the final boater in, Kyle Norsetter with 18 pounds and 10 ounces. Ninth place, Randy Sullivan with 18 even as well. Eighth place, Terry Peacock with 18.3. These are two-day totals. Seventh place, your James River Open champion, the Northern Open with 18.9, Kenta Kimura. Sixth place, Dane Thibodeau with 19.3. Fifth place, Joey Nania with 19.12. Fourth place, Jimmy Washam with 20 pounds and an ounce. Third place, David Gaston with 23.15. This is his second top 10 in a row. So a great uh, end of the season for him. Bassmaster Elite Series angler Greg Hackney in second place with 25 pounds and 8 ounces. And Keith Poche sitting in first place going out this final day with 26.6. That's where we started this morning. We'll see where it ends up. We're going to occupy our hot seat, in, or we'll have our hot seat set in a second. But before we get started, 
We always honor America with a playing of our anthem, so if everyone would please pause. Our flag is located over towards the marina as we honor America with the playing of our anthem. We were actually touring. Good. All right, scales are set. The question is, we're ready. Are you guys ready? Everybody ready? As we get this final day way in underway. All right, we'll get my main man Charles back up here, and then we will get us started. Coming in today in tenth place, starting out. On day number three, he's from Cottage Grove, Wisconsin. Come on up, Kyle Norsetter. All right, Kyle, right here in the middle. Five in the bag. To get into the lead, you need eight, seven. Looking for eight, seven to unseat Poche at the moment. Five fish all alive as they calm down. Great job on fish care this week. Get a re-roll. There we go. Again, looking for eight, seven. Eight pounds, eight ounces, and Kyle Norsetter's going to move into the lead. Grab him, Kyle. Let's hold him up. We'll chat after this. Been a very, very tough Red River. We know that. We know it's better than it has shown out, but it's just been so hot. But there he is, your new leader, with a three-day total of 26 pounds, eight ounces. Kyle Norsetter, nice job. You got in yesterday, you were fired up when you got, I think you jumped into eighth place and you held on to get that top ten into the day and uh, fish on championship Saturday. Yeah, I definitely wasn't expecting it, like I said yesterday. Definitely did not think for that much weight. Definitely thought today was going to go a lot better. I know I'm definitely not going to sit in the lead for a while. Uh, and and uh, definitely want to give a shout out to uh, Texas Boat Works because at 845 my trolling motor battery took a crap and I wouldn't have been able to fish for the rest of the day. Got back here and he threw a 36 volt trolling motor nice. battery in my boat that made me go back and rock out and I just grinded as hard as I could. Well, that's, that's what we talk about with our service crews. We just how awesome those guys are. Get you out on the water and they didn't have to do that but they got you going and I know uh, we just we, we love our service crews and they help you guys stay out there. Yep. And I would like to also give a shout out to uh, my fiance, Amber, my kids at home, everybody else that called me, sent me a message, uh, wish me luck. I, I did my best and hopefully I can move up a spot or two, but we're just keeping our fingers crossed right now. Well, let's talk about fishing a little bit. Let me tune those tunes down just a little bit more so folks can hear you. How'd you get it done this week? Where were the keys? What pool were you in? Where were you catching them? All in pool five, uh, mainly flipping and then a chatterbait. Okay. And then today did a little bit of crank and mixed in. Um, those were the three baits that kind of did it. Okay. Uh, were you going far? Were you close? Uh, yeah, I went 
all the way down in the back pocket and then a little bit halfway down and then some closer to the launch. So okay. mainly three key areas, but it definitely took different areas every single day. The fish were not in the same spot every single day. Do you think it was a, a difference in your lures too? Because I know it was a little crowded out there. What, what do you think the difference was to get you here in the top 10? Just staying focused and having faith in a bait and just keep going and you got to keep your head up. 100%. Um, they definitely got some good bites today, but they were biting the back of the craw tail or off when I was flipping it. That just didn't do it. So, All right. Well, he is your leader. Take that hot seat. I think it's going to live up to its name right now. And we'll keep rolling. He's falling to 10th place. Come on up. He's from Breckenridge, Texas. Randy Sullivan. And he's got five bass in his bag. Bring him up, Randy. Been a great tournament for you. Top ten. And to unseat Kyle. We need eight, nine with these five. Looks like Randy Sullivan's had a good day on the water looking for eight, nine, five fish. 11 pounds, seven ounces, all the way up to first place with a three-day total of 29 pounds, seven ounces. Your new leader, Randy Sullivan, out of Texas has moved into the top. Well, there you go. I know it was tough, but hey, somebody's got to be inside the top 10 and in first place, and it might as well be you. Yeah, yeah. After my practice, I'm just happy to be here. I ran all over. I only ever caught three fish in one day of practice. So uh, coming into it, I just had a plan. You know, uh, crowds were a big deal here, kind of like they always are. But I was just able to figure out my timing, made little decisions that were great, and uh, – that's why I'm up here right now. But, you know, i got to thank, uh, thank Outdoor Specialties over in Eastland, Texas. You know, they've been great to me. Triton, uh, Ranger, Nitro dealership, I mean, fantastic. We're able to get me out here uh, in six-gill fishing. Uh, part of the reason I'm here is because I didn't lose any fish, and that was because I was using the exact right stuff for what I was, I was uh, fishing with. I mean, I did a lot of different things. I had to scramble for bites, and I really didn't miss any fish. So... You know, it's, that's the difference between a horrible finish and a really good one. So I'm happy. It's been a fantastic week. I've had a great time here, and it's been fun. You know, it's a tough fishery, but that's okay. Those are some of the most fun tournaments because you never know what happens. Well, shake your hands with Kyle Norsetter. Take over the hot seat. One more round of applause for Kyle. Great finish for you, sir. We'll see where you end up. And let's keep on rolling. Terry Peacock, come on up, coming in to Day three in eighth place. He's from Royce City, Texas, with 18 pounds, three ounces through his two days of fishing. He's got five more in the bag. And to unseat Randy, we need 11-5. Looking for 11-5 with these five. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, I, this is my fourth cut in the, this season in the Open, and yeah, I can't complain. I have a great season. Right. I mean, yeah, four cuts, and I think we've had seven events, so that's over 50% top tens here in the Opens. Yeah, I just, you know, since I win the Open, I'm just trying to win another one in the last every year. So, yeah, it's a nice to thinking about winning you know, every time. But this time I'm not, you know, really great shape in the practice and try, just trying to make the right decision each day. I was catching my – I was lining around the backwater in the pool five in the first day, and – Got a majority of my good fish on the buzz bait, and I stayed at the uh, main river in the second day and the third day. Caught majority of the fish on the uh, depths evoke 1.2 square bait or crankbait. So, yeah, I mean, I feel like I needed 20 pros to win this thing. So, but yeah, I still had a great tournament. Yeah, great tournament. Anybody you want to say hi or thanks to? Yeah, I, I just want to say thanks for everybody, like sponsor and uh, all my family and the fans and Open Japan and. Uh, the plus, you know, all the people in America. This is such a great event. This is what I want to do the rest of my life. Well, four top tens in the opens. He's already won at James River. He is having a great season. Good job, Kenna. And we'll see you in a couple of weeks at Lake Hartwell where if odds hold true, you'll have a top ten there as well. All right, he's from Lake Charles, Louisiana. Come on up. Dane Thibodeau, 19-3 through his two days of fishing. Bring up those three today, Dane. You need three three pounders, three and a half pounders. Not this time. You need 10-5 to unseat Randy. Four five today, four five today. Gonna jump you up to eighth place. You want him to hold him? Yeah, no. grab him. We gotta hold him. Andy's got a long lens. 
You got long arms. Just hold them way out. There you go. Let's hear it one time for Dane Thibodeau. Been a great tournament for him. 23-5. Got you in eighth place. Maybe not the day you wanted today, but still a great tournament when you can come into an open in the top ten. Yeah, what an experience, man. This is a great opportunity to come and fish these things. Um, I caught them good during practice. I had some big fish the last few days. I gambled today. Tried to go out and catch big ones. I thought I'd maybe catch five. Uh, yesterday I had a four and three quarter, three and a half. The day before some three and a halfs, two and a halfs. And I gambled and didn't pay off. So that's just how it goes. What were the key lures you were throwing this week? I was actually throwing a, um, some locating baits to catch the big ones. I was throwing a horny toad real, real fast, and they just wake up, they shark up on it. And I have a bait. Uh, it's a chatter-type bait. It was made by um, Jeff Jackson. Okay. It's called the Jackson. We call it Jackson. Yeah. So uh, anyway, they chase after it, and I'd follow up with um, a Cinco afterwards. Okay, nice. So, And I'd get about five, six big fish that would come up on me every day and probably catch two or three of opportunities, but just that, that's how it went. One, I do have to tell my wife happy birthday from a couple of days ago. Uh, last year, unfortunately, I forgot about it, which wasn't too good, and had to give her a surprise party a couple of days later. Made it pretty special. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. Well, no, but happy birthday, honey. And um, guys, one real big thing that I think is important is – if ever you haven't ever come early in the morning when all these boats are out here, there's 210, 220 bass boats out there. It's all lit up, engines running, everyone's standing around getting ready, and all of a sudden it's just total silence. And after that silence, they say a prayer. They start going through. It's just, it's really a neat event. It's just quiet. Every, all these guys are standing up on the boats, and then they do the national anthem, and you just hear everything echo and the sun's coming up. It's a great experience. If ever y'all haven't done it, you really ought to come out and uh, come out and experience that you could i could not have said that any better one more round of applause for dane thibodeau and it's basically a 202 boat parade every morning but he is right it all of a sudden just gets very quiet and speaking of that we follow that up each morning with an invocation and he's offered our invocation each morning let's welcome him up to the stage joey nania from cropwell alabama Step up, Joey. I was watching you on Bass Track, and you looked like you had a pretty good day. 19-12 through your two days of fishing. Five in the bag. If they go 9-12, we take over the hot seat. Looks like this might be close. Looking for 9-12 with these five. Again, looking for 9-12 with these five. Nine pounds, six ounces. Joey knew it to the ounce. He's going to jump him up to second place with 29-2 through his three days of fishing. It's going to be a fantastic finish for Joey and the out of Cropwell, Alabama. He has punched his ticket to the Classic before via an Opens win. And he's got a top ten this week. So, Joey, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's been a little bit of a frustrating year, but we got a little bit of momentum going into the remainder of the season. Yeah, it's been a tough year, and uh, I just, you know, that was God's way of humbling me, and, and his plan is perfect, and I know that, and I trust that, and having a great season last year and barely missing the elites, I mean, you would think that'd be disappointing to miss the elites by one ounce, and I want to make the elite series, but if I'm not there, if there was meant to be an ounce of water on that scale, that can happen, and it was, you know, it just wasn't meant to be, and I know that the Lord has a plan for this, and through me not making the elites last year, I actually surrendered my call to preaching the Word of God, and then I ended up leading a 16-year-old to, to Christ and uh, through preaching that I got to do at my church. And it was just, to have that happen, that wouldn't happen if I would have made the Elite Series. It never would happen. So I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful for getting to fish out here. I caught all my fish flipping a Z-Man cross-size power finesse jig and uh, had a blast doing that, just a little compact jig. And it's a bite getter. It's something that gets a lot of bites when it's really tough. And obviously, you see the fishing's tough here. So I got a lot of bites on that, and I weighed in every fish on that until today I switched to a shaky head, and I flipped a shaky head around on 17-pound vicious tore fluorocarbon and just flipped it up in the wood. I've only burned about a gallon or two of gas the last two days, just fishing around the ramp and catching as many fish as I can and having a good time. So I got my wife and my boys right there and a lot of church family and church friends and, and my family and friends watching, and I'm just super blessed and ready to get back home so I can get to church tomorrow. To church tomorrow, then two weeks we'll see you at Lake Hartwell. One more round of applause for Joey Nania. He's in second place. All right, Randy. Hey, you are you there? Are, you, are you, have you lasted longer than you thought you would? Oh yeah, I've lasted a little bit longer than I thought I would. But uh, you know, I'm just getting it warmed up for the next guy. It's kind of it's kind of definitely the hot seat, like you were saying. I'm fidgeting. It's not because I'm nervous, because I'm hot. 
It is indeed living up to its name today. Let's bring up the next one. He is from Covington, Tennessee, with 20 pounds and an ounce through his two days of fishing. Come on up, Jimmy. Wash them. All right, Jimmy. Step up right here. 20 pounds and an ounce through your two days of fishing. We've got three in the bag. They need to go 9-7 to unseat Randy. Looking for 9-7. Six pounds, 12 ounces. Going to jump you up to fourth place. Let's hold those up with a three-day total of 26-13. It's going to be a great finish for Jimmy Washam. So, Jimmy, was it just one of those things? Three days of fishing just kind of dried up, for lack of a better term? I wish. You know, I about every day I've been getting about seven seven or eight bites the last two days today i had seven and i weighed in three so you know that that is it is what it is this the, the this week has been more physically demanding out of all of us anglers than ever before I, I you know i had my head in the game but it just didn't didn't happen today you know i've stuck a couple of good fish that that uh it just wasn't meant to be but i'm i'm so thrilled with a, another top 10 in the centrals i started out good at at a Ross Barnett, yeah, I caught my fish this week on a swim jig and then flipping a Swampers three-quarter ounce jig. I noticed that it seemed like these fish were really keying on brim more than I expected in late summer where you normally see fish really keying on shad. Uh, also caught some punching a clone cross them, but hyacinth and and backwater and, and maybe a little depth change seemed real important this week. Uh, what an awesome place. You know, I, I've heard some grumbling, but it, I love these events where mental toughness is tested. Your equipment is tested. I'll tell you what, from my ranger, and if there was ever a, a good place to test an engine out, Mercury passed this week, no doubt about it. Lowrance, uh, Power Pole, those were so big this week. Uh, boat Logics, all the stuff on my boat. Uh, big thanks to Profound. I caught them on the, on the jig and the clone cross them this week. Uh, rockfish gloves, love rockfish gloves. Most of y'all probably haven't heard of them. They're available at Academy, Tackle Warehouse, a lot of your major out, outdoor you know, online retailers. Check them out. Best fishing glove I've ever worn. Big thanks to uh, Midway Marine in Fulton, Mississippi, my, my dealer there. Uh, they keep me in, in the rig and keep it operating. So back-to-back um, -back top tens. And now saying hey to Danielle and my two boys at home. I'm driving home tonight. We're loading the vehicle, and we're going to Orange Beach for vacation. Nice. Much-needed vacation. Well, go enjoy it. I think we get you a little gas money on the way down there. Fourth place. Good job, Jimmy Washam with 26-13. All right. Well, that means now the worst place we can finish is fourth place, which is 13,600. Not a bad day. Yeah, yeah, not a bad day, not a bad week. I'll take my fourth place. Hey, we don't know. It might be third place. We'll find out here in a second. This one is a tough one, though. It's the second top ten in a row. He had a top ten at the Chesapeake Bay Open. Let's welcome him up from Sylacauga, Alabama, David Gaston. We're ready. Go ahead. 23.15 through your two days of fishing. Three fish in there. Going to check in at seven pounds and two ounces. Don't move it yet. Seven, two. Seven, two. Going to jump him up to ninth place with a 23.15, a three-day total. Good job. Hold it up. It's seven two, seven two. We'll get that. We'll we'll reload the leaderboard. My leaderboard's not loading, but he did have seven two. Get Emily to look at that. Oh, that's a nice one right there. All right, let me see right here. What we got? No, I don't even know where you are either. We're going to get our girls to get that uh, adjusted. We do know your weight, though. It was 7'2". My computer is not uh, communicating with me. But let's talk about the fishing. Second top ten in a row. Uh, had one at Chesapeake Bay, and you had one here on a tough Red River. But you got it done. Man, it was really tough here. I'm telling you, the, the secret this week was water and sunscreen. <laughs> That's what really did it. I mean, it was real tough. Didn't have a good practice. Uh, three fish is th what I thought I was going to have the first day and the second day. So, I mean, I needed a crash, and this was a good day to do it on where I could only finish 10th. So, I'm tickled with it, to be honest. So, hey, give me key lures. How'd you catch them? Well, I caught most of them on a frog and a swim jig. And then our first day, I had to catch some flipping. 
And then, but you know, most of my weight come off frogging and swimming a jig. Nice. Okay. Anybody you want to say hi or thanks to? Uh, my lovely wife and all the family and friends for watching back home. And sorry I disappointed y'all so bad with only three fish. But you still had a top ten. I don't think that's a disappointment. All right, we're headed to Lake Hartwell. You're in all nine. You're up there in the points. You fish Lake Martin a lot in Alabama, Blueback Herring Lake. So uh, you got a little bit of similarities at Hartwell. I know you're looking forward to that one. It ought to be fun. We can get, at least if you don't catch a big fish, you catch a bunch of fish. So I'm at least excited for that. Yeah. Then we come all the way back to Rayburn to wrap it up. Yeah, Rayburn's going to be a tough one for me, I'm sure. That, that one will take a lot, a lot of weight. It will take a lot. All right, well, let's get you off the stage. Let me see if I can get my leaderboard reloaded. All right, so David Gaston did take over the lead. Sorry, Randy, we left you hanging a little bit longer. That does mean you're going to finish in fourth. Let me reload my list. Yep, there we go. 31-1. 31-1 is your three-day total. So there we go. We Finally, the computer fin – I think the computer's hot, too. Yeah, well, my one moment to shine, you took it from me. So. <laughs> hey, man, it's been that kind of week. Yeah, I know. It's hot. I don't expect nothing less. I only caught three fish today, so I needed that, too. But you took the hot seat, though. Yeah. Take it in. Yeah, we do have a uh, pretty big name coming up next. And he is from Louisiana. Hang on one second, Greg, before we bring you up. All right. I think we're ready now. So he had 25-8 through his two days of fishing. You guys know him. He's from Gonzales, Louisiana. He's an elite series angler of the Hack Attack, Greg Hackney. All right, Greg, 25-8 through your two days of fishing. Five in the bag to unseat David. You need it just 5-10. Looking for 5-10 with these five. Nine pounds, 12 ounces, all the way up to first place with a 35-4 three-day total. And the hack attack jumps into the lead. Again, with 35 pounds, four ounces, your new leader, Greg Hackney. Well, we've already qualified for the Classic. This was kind of a fun tournament. We'll take home some good money. We might be taking home another trophy. It's been a good week. Yeah, it really has. I, uh, anytime I get a chance to fish in the state, I'd like to, you know. So, And I did. I bothered y'all about it. I was glad that I got in. Some people dropped out, and I got the opportunity to fish. I just I like to fish at home. We don't get to do this very much. I do a lot of traveling. So, uh, yeah, it's been a good week. It's been fun. I, you know, I still think the river's pretty healthy. It's got lots of – only thing today was that I kind of had an issue with – the wind got pretty hard out of the south, and it blew a bunch of hyacin from the, the other side of the backwater and kind of got on some key stuff, and I couldn't, I never could judge the distance. These fish were kind of set up in some drains, you know, that were covered in cover, or they would be on the stumps that were out in front, but it, it's, it's really been a fun week. It's not been a bad boat ride, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't change a thing. I'm really glad I came and fished because, like I said, I, I do, I love river fishing. I grew up fishing on the river, and uh just any time I get to fish at home, I like it. I was going to say, this one had to be right in your wheelhouse. It has, when I just look out there, I'm just like stumps, grass, and that just is uh, Greg Hackney to me. Yeah, it does. And I'll be honest with you, you know, like things have changed a lot since I became a professional fisherman. You know, we fish a lot in the spring, and uh, a lot of our southern tournaments are spring, you know, heavy. And uh, it's cool to get to fish when it's hot because I grew up fishing you know, every tournament would be here, you know, or not on this river, but a different one. But so as the seasons change, I fished a river on every season and uh, it's it's hard to, <laughs> people to believe me, but I like hot weather. And uh, it took me a couple of days to get used to it because we come from lacrosse where it was really cool. And uh, once I got acclimated to it, I, I'd like to go, I'd like to come back out here and do it again next week. <laughs> you did get acclimated all the way up to first place. He's your new leader. One more round of applause for David Gaston. Tim, if we would, we're going to hold Keith Poche's fish or Billy. We're going to let Greg get comfortable in the hot seat for a second. 
We're going to welcome Keith up first because the way we do this at the Opens, we give the final day or the day two leader a chance to come up, thank their sponsors, talk about the fishing, and then we'll have a crowning moment. So let's welcome him up from Pike Road, Alabama. He's Elite Series qualified via the uh, – not the Centrals, the Northerns. And uh, it's been a great open season for you, Keith, and another great tournament this week. Yeah, I'll tell you, it was a challenging day, but, uh, you know, I had some setbacks, but uh, we was able to get, get it going today and uh, get a few fish. Uh, you know, anytime you're up against Greg Hackney, you know, it's, it's a good place to be because he's a great fisherman, and I got a lot of respect for him. But, uh, you know, I appreciate everybody coming out. I got my family here. Uh, you know, I grew up right down the road in Natchitoches, Louisiana, so I uh, live in Alabama now. Um, got my girls there, my, my uncles and my daddy. Uh, my buddy Michael Bad Good, and I like to say hey to Miss Miss Wendy and her husband. She she came. Uh, appreciate those guys coming. But uh, you know I, I you know I, I caught most of my fish this week on a Berkeley pit boss. You know throwing it up on a seven six heavy Fenwick rod, and uh, you know I had one, uh, one of those good strong hooks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you know I, you know. Of course, I, I do what I do. You know, I, I, earlier this year I was able to get back in a hole on the, the James River, and and you know I was in the same position going into the final day, leading, and I ended up finishing second. And you know that was kind of a heartbreaker, but that's that's part of it. You know, you have to manage these fish when you get back in these places. Just no, not a whole lot in there. I mean, it's not like fishing around, running you know different spots. So uh, hopefully I managed it right this week. Um, I, I don't know yet. We'll find out, but. Uh, you know, it's it's just one of them deals that uh, you just go with it and 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 see what happens. But you know, I'm running my Gator Tracks boat back in this stuff with a, Merc a 90 horse Mercury. I mean, that Gator Tracks is probably the toughest boat, aluminum boat on the market. If if you guys are looking for a hunting boat or whatever, a fishing boat, that Gator Tracks is is the top of the line. So uh, I'm thankful to, to be running one. But um, one one more thing, and I just I just remembered. You know, I've been I've been on the road for a month, and uh, my wife and girls came in yesterday and. And I found out my 13-year-old has a boyfriend. Uh -oh. Is he here? I hope he ain't here. I, I can't wait so to Clearly, get... we didn't clear this through Dad. No, no, we did not. So uh, I thought I'd just throw that out there to her and embarrass a little bit. But <laughs> now, I, I, you know, I, it's not, is it really an official boyfriend before you get the dad stamp of approval? So I, I, don't, think, I don't think it is. I think we got, you know, I got a little girl, and that's, a, that's, a, that's tougher than a job interview to me. Yeah, she she just don't know when I, when Daddy gets home, we we're gonna have a little yeah. talk. Set up the interview, yeah. suit and tie, right? Yeah, we're gonna do a polygraph. <laughs> All right, you ready to see who's gonna do this? I'm ready. Uh, you know, it's been like I said, it's been a long couple of days, and uh, I'm anxious. Uh, you know, we'll see where it falls. Hopefully, uh, we can get it done this week. You know, last time I was in, I led it in a tournament in Louisiana. It was the Bassmaster Classic 2012, and, and of course I finished third. But uh, hopefully, uh, this is my week. All right, let's find out. Go get him, Greg Hackney. Let's get you right here. He is coming up. He's had a great two days with 26-6 through his two days of fishing. It's either going to be Greg Hackney or Keith Poche. Bring him up. Five fish in the bag. Hand them off to Charles side by side. Here we go. You need 815 with these five. Again, 26-6. Yeah, Charles just want to make sure he has the roll right. In 26-6 through his two days of fishing, five more in there looking for 8-15. Hang on, Charles, it might get it. Eleven pounds, six ounces, and the Pike Road Angler is going to take home the trophy. Reach in there, Keith, let's hold him up. Poche going from day two to day three, he's going to take home the trophy. He's already qualified for the Elite Series, and this is going to put him in the 2023 Bassmaster Classic. And there you go, your champion, Keith Boche, with a three-day total of 37 pounds and 12 ounces. Hand those off. Let's get Derek Hudnall up here from St. Croix Rods to hand off the hardware, and we can chat in a moment. But there you go, Keith Boche. He's originally from Natchitoches, Louisiana. In Louisiana, I need you to go crazy for your 2022 St. Croix Bassmaster Open Series here on the Red River. Central stop number two, Keith Poche. There you go. Let's hear it for him. He, he thanked a ton of people. I know y'all are super proud of him. He's taking home that trophy. 
putting Andy to work. All right, we good? Let's chat for a second. You want him hold it high? All right. One more time over your head, Keith, your champion right there. One more round of applause for Keith Poche. And I really feel like this is home. So I want to say you got some hardware going back home to Alabama, but we're kind of home here, and we're taking that back to where home is now. Yeah, I tell you, man, I, you know, I, I, work, I work my butt off. I mean, all year it's, it's just been a grind, and, uh, I, you know, me and my wife, we built a house. I've just been so busy and fishing all these tournaments and, you know, coming in second and, you know, doing what I do in that little boat. I mean, people don't realize. If you want to know, go, go watch my off-the-grid stuff. I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it's a style of fishing, and, and I know some guys may not like it, but uh, it's just what I do, and that's who I am. And um, I, I don't know. It, I'm just happy it worked out, man. And, and, and you just never know. And, and, these, and these places aren't guaranteed. And, and it, there's so many things that can, ha can go wrong. You can, you can break down. You can get stuck. You can do – there's so much that happens in this. And, man, I just, I'm just so happy it worked out this time. Hold the hardware high one more time. He's your champion here on the Red River. Central Open stop number two. And there you go. All right, I hope Greg didn't go far. Greg Hackney, come on back. Let's get him up here. The hack attack coming back. Sorry, Greg, I meant to holler at you. Taking home $23,120. We'll get Derek Hudnall up here to hand off the hardware. 35-4 through his two day, or three days of fishing. Let's hear it for Greg Hackney. Good job. And our final trophy to hand off in third place, two top tens in a row, David Gaston from Sylacauga, Alabama. Hope he's still there. He knows the drill by now. Do you already go to the lake? Come on back up, David. While David's coming up, we want to say thank you to everybody watching on Bassmaster.com. It's been a tough week, but it's been a great week. We love it here in Shreveport, Bossier City. The friends, the family, the food's been fantastic. It's been hot. If you're in the southeast, you know how hot it got this week, and uh, it just needs to cool off a little bit. We're all welcome, ready and ready for fall to get here. But, again, it's been an awesome week. We want to thank all the anglers fishing with us. Huge shout-out to all our sponsors, Red River South Marina, for all you guys did letting us take over. Our next stop is in a week and a half, Lake Hartwell. That is southern open stop number three. We will be giving away three Bassmaster Elite Series berths, Another birth to the classic and